Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at a TCP overview. We'll be discussing TCP features. We'll look at TCP header and the header fields. And then finally, we'll talk about applications that use TCP. This episode is part of my series on introduction to networks for the CCNA. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. There are four features that we talk about when we talk about TCP. One is it establishes the session. TCP is what we call a connection oriented protocol. It negotiates and establishes a permanent connection between the source and the destination prior to forwarding any traffic. Second thing TCP does is it ensures reliability. There's many reasons why a segment could get lost in traffic. But TCP makes sure that if that packet is sent, it will rely or sorry, it will arrive at the destination. TCP provides same order delivery. And what we're talking about here is sometimes these segments arrive out of order because of different paths through the internet, because of retransmission, all these all these segments arrive and then TCP puts them in the correct order to make the message complete and so it makes sense. Finally, TCP supports flow control. What we're talking about here is making sure that we that the source sends data at a rate at which the destination can receive it. Part of the negotiation process here at the beginning is to make sure that we find out how fast that destination can receive data and we're going to send it there and we're not going to send it any faster than that but we're going to send it as fast as possible to make sure that data arrives. Here we have our TCP header. This is our representation of it. It starts at the top row on the left side, and then we go across and we talk about it. And so what we see here is that the first field there in the top left is the source port. And then in, in parentheses, we have 16. That means that is 16 bits long. So going across the entire top row, that is 32 bits or four bits. And then we can see that the first five rows are 20 bit, they're 20 bytes long. We have four bytes going across and then five rows of it, that's 20 bytes. That is the TCP header. And so the first row here are source port and destination port. This is a 16 bit field here that's used to identify the application. The source is where it's coming from. What application did it come from? Um, on the computer, the destination is where is it going? The next number is the sequence number. This is the this is the order in which that data needs to be re reassembled. The acknowledgement number is a 32-bit field here that indicates that the data has been received and the next byte expected from the source. The header length here, also known as the data offset, that is a number here, a four bit number that identifies how long this header field is. Then we have a reserved field of six bits. That's for future use. We're not using that right now. And then we have control bits. These control bits indicate what are, what's the purpose and function of this TP, TCP segment. Then we have the window size. That's 16 bits long. That indicates how big the window can be, how much data can be in transit at one time. The checksum, is that's the, the error checking here. It's used to check the, the integrity, the data integrity of the header and also of the data. And finally, the last field, the last 16 bits is the urgent field. That is to indicate whether or not this data is urgent or not. Here are several applications that do use TCP. We have the HTTP, that's our web traffic. We have FTP, that's a file transfer protocol. SMTP, mail protocol, SSH, that's the encrypted telnet. These all use TCP to get their data from the source to the destination. TCP, once again, it divides the data stream into segments. It takes that big message, makes it into smaller segments. It provides that reliability, making sure that data gets there 
can it also controls the flow so that way the source can receive the data at, at a rate which it can receive and finally it reorders the data in case that data arrives out of sequence it was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on tcp overview if you like this episode and you got value out of it please click that like button give a five star rating leave a comment this all helps me bring you more great content please take a minute to subscribe to my channel all my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com. There you can find out how to get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on introduction to networks for the CCNA. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I linked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on introduction to networks for the CCNA. I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.